Hey guys, Easter Sunday is the day that we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus. But why? What does a resurrection that happened over 2,000 years ago mean to us today? I mean, what possible relevance can some ancient resurrection hold for us today? Well, if we go to the Bible, in the book of Romans, chapter 6, and I'm going to read from verses 6 to verse 11. It says this, For we know that our old self was crucified with him, so that the body of sin might be done away with, that we should no longer be slaves to sin, because anyone who has died has been freed. From sin. Now, if we die with Christ, we believe that we also live with him. For we know that since Christ was raised from the dead, he cannot die again. Death no longer has mastery over him. The death he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, but the life he lives, he lives to God. In the same way, count yourselves dead to sin, but alive to God in Christ Jesus. See, the relevance of the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ to us is massive. This is a big thing. But what we do about it will contribute to how it affects us today. The scripture I read in Romans says that we died. We were crucified with Christ. Your death notice has been published. It says that our old self was crucified. That's what the Bible says. Our old self was crucified. Now death may not be something that we consider as being good. But the death of our old life of our life of sin, our life of pain, our life of disease, our life of addiction, our life of unforgiveness, our life of hopelessness. Surely saying goodbye to these things is not bad, but good. Especially since there's a promise of a new life that to follow it. It says that because we are crucified with Christ, our body of sin is done away with. We are no longer slaves to sin. Now this is great news. Sin no longer controls us. It no longer has authority over us. There can be no better news than that. Romans says, Anyone that has died has been freed from sin. See, death brings about freedom. Jesus never came to bring some religious bondage on us. He came to set us free. And today you can choose to live free from the bondage of sin, from the bondage of religion, from the bondage of disease, from the bondage of fear, from the bondage of unforgiveness. You can choose to live free from those things by crucifying your old life that was crucified with Christ and choosing to live a new life that comes and can only come through Jesus. Now, that may sound difficult, but it's not. It's not that difficult, really. See, Romans chapter 6, verse 11 says this. In the same way, count yourselves dead to sin, but alive to God in Christ Jesus. I love the way the Amplified Version puts that scripture, the Amplified Version of the Bible. It says it this way. It says, now even, though, now even so, consider yourself also dead to sin and your relation to it broken but alive to God, living in unbroken fellowship with him in Jesus Christ. Consider yourself dead to sin. Consider it dead. Count it dead. Your old life dead. Your sinful life gone. Your relationship with sin is broken 
because of the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. It goes on, but consider yourselves alive to God, living in unbroken fellowship with God through Jesus Christ. That's the promise of God. That's the promise that you can live in this unbroken relationship with Christ Jesus. You can live in an unbroken fellowship with God or you can continue to live with a broken relationship with your perfect, loving, heavenly Father. The choice is yours. See, we've all got a broken relationship with God. We've all sinned. We've all done the wrong thing. And as a result, that relationship has been broken. The relationship between us and the Father has been broken. But Jesus came so that we can have an unbroken relationship with the Heavenly Father. The choice is yours, what relationship you want. So how do you choose? You need to decide to live for Jesus. Consider your old life dead. And you now have a new life that can only be found in Christ. It's an abundant life. Of, of freedom, of hope, and of love. You can choose that life today. You need to repent of your sins, of your old life. Repent means to be sorrowful, to turn around, to turn away from the sins, to turn away from the old life, and surrender to Jesus and allow him to live through you. Let me pray with you now. Father, right now, there's people that are listening to this and I pray that the broken relationship that they have had with you will be restored. I know it has been restored through Jesus, but Father, I ask that today they will understand the restoration that has happened and they will accept that, accept the relationship that they can have with you through Jesus. Father, right now, some of them want to, want to want forgiveness of their sins. They want to repent of their sins. Holy Spirit, work in their lives. You are the Holy Spirit. You are the one that convicts. You are the one that counsels. You are the one that comforts. You are the one that leads and guides. And Holy Spirit, work in their lives right now. Let there be a restoration of their relationship with you today. Father, I thank you for your forgiveness. And Father, I speak a blessing upon every person that is listening to this right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hey, look, this is Bruce from FaithWorks. We would love to tell you more about how you can find Jesus, how you can have this unbroken relationship with Jesus. And it's really not that hard. Check, it, check out the website that tells you how that website is Find Jesus. F I N D J E S U S. FindJesus.com.au. Until next time, God bless.